You know, we're just a few months away from the federal election. It's scheduled for October 19th under the new fixed election date rule. Well, that's just three months away. So the official writ period of the campaign will be here in just over a month or so. I mean, we're really into the campaign right now, judging by each party's speeches and leaders tour. It's a tie in the polls between Stephen Harper's conservatives and Thomas Mulcair's NDP, which is terrifying to me, of course, but I'm consoled by the fact that the conservatives always seem to do better during the campaign to actually go up in the polls. But what's so amazing to me is the shiny pony, Justin Trudeau, who once soared so high in the polls and in the hearts of the media party, but who now trails badly, almost Michael Ignatieff badly, surely Stefan Dion badly. Now, polls are not a prediction. They are a snapshot in time. But let me show you a terrifying snapshot if you're a liberal. Here's a graph from the Journal de Montréal newspaper of a poll done recently by Leger. That's a reputable pollster. Take a look at Justin Trudeau, who is an MP from Montreal, who is the darling of Quebec, who has said that Quebecers are superior to all other Canadians. Remember when he said that? Quebecers are better than the rest of Canada because, you know, we're Quebec. Yeah, I mean, surely a favorite son like that is going to be rocking in Quebec, but no. Look at that graph. Again, just hold it on the screen for a moment here. The NDP is strongly in the lead in Quebec. This is federal vote intentions. 37% for the NDP. That's a lot. Then again, the NDP won 59 out of 75 seats in the province last federal election, so there's not a lot of room for them to grow, but it looks like they might hold those seats, or at least most of them. And the Bloc Québécois that's running again under Gilles Deceppe again isn't that strong. Last month they were at 26%, but now they're down to 19%. Enough to win some seats probably, but more likely just to come in second and third in a lot of places. But look at who's in second place in Quebec. The Conservatives, as in Stephen Harper, the Calgarian. How on earth can that be? I say again, this is just one poll, just one snapshot in time. Could change, might even be that one poll in 20 that's statistically wonky, but take it at face value, a conservative MP from Calgary is now in second place in Quebec polls, and the Liberals, led by a Montreal MP, son of a Montreal Prime Minister, they are in fourth place. The Liberal Party of Canada is in fourth place in Quebec, behind even the Conservatives. That is shocking, and it's less than three months to the election. I mean, who knows what's going to happen? No one does. Justin Trudeau says he likes to be underestimated, like he was during the boxing match against Patrick Brazo. But really, do you think the leaders' debates between Stephen Harper and Thomas Mulcair and Trudeau, do you really think Trudeau is going to come out ahead of those two seasoned debaters and policy experts? It's a very exciting election. We're going to cover the heck out of it. Stephen Harper's got to be excited. He's already one of the longest serving prime ministers in Canadian history. And if he wins this, it would extend that to 13 years. Thomas Mulcair has got to be excited too. The first time that the NDP actually has a chance to do the impossible. Maybe like they just did in Alberta. But for Justin Trudeau, well, listen, don't worry too much about him. He's got his multi-million dollar trust fund from his dad to fall back on. And honestly, if you really look and listen to him, it always feels like he's doing this to please other people around him, his handlers, his personal Machiavelli, Gerald Butts, his donors, as opposed to actually following his heart's desired, just being a trust fund playboy. Fourth place in Quebec? Well, I guess he can only go up, right? For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.